Have you heard of this bop? It's a worldwide phenomenon, BTS, one of the biggest K-pop groups in the world and one of the biggest musical groups ever. Originally formed in 2010, the group debuted in 2013. The rise of fame came in 2017 when they performed at the American Music Awards. Since then, they have become a nonstop global sensation. But you may ask, how did a seven-piece Korean boy band take over the world? Welcome, music lovers, to KPOB, your show all about K-pop, lyrics, and history. The poverty and distress of the South Koreans were deepened by the Korean War. During that time, the USA Army, military government in Korea provided the opportunity for Korean citizens to experience the American music. Years after the Korean War, the traditional trap music at the time was being replaced by folk music. A majority of folk music was initiated by elite university students graduates of prestigious schools who had pocket money, drinks, cigarettes, English speaking ability, and spare time. Like the activists of the US student movement, they turned to folk music as the preferred music to politicize youth, who staged rhetoric and actions against the authoritarian government. In turn, the government banned folk music due to its association with the students' anti-government movements. After the 1970s, Rock and R&B elements became increasingly popular, which motivates more and more performers to start performing songs that contain these two elements. In the 1980s and 1990s, new music styles from the U.S. such as pop, ballad, and hip-hop had flooded the Korean music industry. South Tajin Boys was the start of the modern K-pop scene. With his integration of hip-hop elements, dance, and contemporary lyrics debuting in 1992. One of their more well-known songs is the song Come Back Home from their fourth album, South Tajin Boys 4, exhibiting their signature hip-hop rhythms and gangster rap feel. The rebellious hip-hop music of the early 1990s influenced Sao Taji, who used it to talk about his own rebellious nature as a youngster. Taji initially wrote the song about running away from home. He said in an interview with Kakao Music Studio, When I was young, I ran away from home a lot. I made the song for my own experiences. While I was out, I went through a lot of trouble, did a lot of hard work, and learned a lot. But in the end, our parents are always worried about us. It's about how you can achieve your dreams in your own home. source of comfort, somewhere he feels warm and safe. It can even be himself realizing that he doesn't need to leave home in order to follow his dreams. You can get a feeling of hope and despair when reading the lyrics. It feels like he is left out, lost, and by himself. He says that he'll keep trying even if he is suffering. He's constantly trying to search for something and it turns out that it's himself. Even with the BTS's remake, of the song years later, they add their own lyrics that drive the question, what is the point of living life so mundane? With 
the inspiration of the song's lyrics, I'll leave it up to you to interpret the meaning of it and listen to the song yourself. Besides the G-Funk and New Jack Swing hip-hop styles of Sao Taiji and the Boys, K-pop was also influenced by American pop groups in the mid to late 1990s. With the help of other K-pop groups like H.O.T. and S.E.S., which were under the bustling new entertainment company, SM Entertainment, it showed a shift in social factors of Korea. It showed that music can be a major source of income and revenue for the country. Because of that, we get the beginning of the true Halu wave that made South Korea develop its soft power in the Eastern world. You may ask yourself, what is Halu wave? Halu is a Chinese term that literally means Korean wave. This wave was the beginning of the sold out worldwide concerts and field K-pop is known for today. All thanks to the boys. Thank you for watching KPOV, your one-stop shop for K-pop music, lyrics, and history. I hope you learned a little something today. Bye! Annyeong!